are microplastics causing heart disease, buildup of plaque in the arteries, atherosclerosis, heart attacks and strokes? Well, the answer is yes, they are. There is a link to them. Before I get on to describe the latest study, there are more than 50 studies on animals over the last 10 years, and most of those have been, have been literally in the last three to five years. So there's a big growth of the studies in this area have shown abnormal heart rate, impairment of cardiac function, uh, heart abnormalities, uh, liquid around the heart, arrhythmias, which is the beat of changes in the, the beating of the heart, and atherosclerosis, which is the buildup of plaque in the artery. So the animal studies are supporting this. More importantly, though, the animal studies have also highlighted that these microplastics, these are the minuscule amounts of uh, and size plastics that you can't see. They're so small, but these particles literally get in and they're so small they get into our bodies and into our cells and literally cause the damage. And it's linked to oxidation and inflammation. And this is literally the driving force of all chronic illness, inflammation and oxidation. So these microplastics are getting into it. And what causes it? Well, it's the size, the shape and the different types of plastics. We'll touch on that briefly. More recently, studies have also shown a link between these microplastics and mitochondrial damage. Now, mitochondria is your powerhouse. It, it's the, it's the, it gives me the energy to be able to do this. It gives you the energy to think and function. Everything is driven, your energy-wise, is driven by your mitochondria. And the studies are showing that this actually blocks and stops and slows the mitochondria down. More research on that coming out very recently. And also... I've already done a little video on gut and microplastics, how the microplastics are poisoning your gut. And as you will know from watching all my other videos on YouTube, that the gut is the central part of your health to look after it. If you're sick, fix the gut. So coming back onto the study that was recently released, it was a study of 250 patients who had already had heart disease. And they were able to take a little biopsy. And in that biopsy, they found that 150 of the people actually had microplastics in their arteries, lodged in their plaque in their arteries. And it was primarily PVC and polyethylene. PVC is a plastic that you get around pipes and your gardening hose and all those bits and pieces used in industry extensively, uh, probably in food preparation extensively as well. And polyethylene is the one that you get in your plastic containers that you shouldn't put in the microwave. And the plastic containers, you shouldn't store food in plastic bags and also your little plastic tea bags, your little triangular tea bags are actually made out of uh, yep, polyethylene. So this study followed those people over three years and the ones who had the plastic in their arteries, microplastics, were five times greater risk of heart attack, stroke and death from all other causes. Now, given what I've already described, how it affects the gut, the mitochondria, you can understand that. And the study also highlighted that more the more plastic in the arteries are associated with cardiovascular disease and diabetes. And I think we're gonna find a lot more research on diabetes and this uh, condition as well. Now, here's a little book I wrote some time ago uh, with about 600 references to highlight that I've been working on this area for a long time. In fact, I have another book called Reversing Heart Disease. And we were looking at measuring and monitoring microplastics in the air and in water over 20 years 